Hey guys, Jeremiah here from Beverly in My Backyard. Uh, welcome to another video. Today we're going to learn more about pickerel or pickerel weed. This is a fantastic plant for your pond or water garden. The only time you have to mess with this plant is in the spring. I like to stick these plants in my bog filter. So this is what, an example of when I put it in loose, it'll really take off and expands because it was probably last season was about this much space and it just worked its way that way. They are a tuber style root, so they'll just keep moving outward. Because I don't want it to be much bigger than this, I do want it to be that direction more. So I'm not going to trim this side this year. I'm only going to trim this side. All of this stuff has to be cut off in the spring. And if you don't want it to get out of control, you'll take some of the roots and cut them out as well. The other way you can do it is by planting these in a pot and then putting that pot into your gravel of your wetland. The only thing is, is that I, I don't believe that you get as much cleansing of the water when you do it that way. And I'm going to show you both. The pot style is way easier to manage and you still get a beautiful plant. So if that's what you're going for, I would highly recommend that. If you want to get that water clean and you want this plant to do its job of pulling up all of that nasty stuff, then I would recommend that you stick the plant right into your gravel. So let's go ahead and jump in and start cutting this out. So you may have seen this in previous videos, but you will need a sickle or something like this. I have a link to this sickle down in the comments below. My wetland filter is drained. It's already been cleaned out and drained. So all I have to do is get in here and start cutting this down to the gravelish level. Just try to get as close to the bottom as I can so that when I have the wetland running that the water will come up just over where I've cut. Keep grabbing a hold of this stuff and cutting the bottom. All right, now up to the top bog filter example where I'm planting these into pots. Same thing except for I don't have to worry about cutting any roots because the roots don't really get out of these pots. So again, this is drained down and I'm just going to cut as close as I can to the rock inside of the pots. When I have it planted in the pots, the water level is right up in here, just below my clean out here. So uh, the water level will not come up over the top of the pot, but the plant you can see is down lower than the top of the pot. So the plant is, the plant itself is covered and this plant does want to be covered by water. Um, so this is perfect. After you get everything cut down and you, your roots trimmed if you needed them trimmed, you're going to go ahead and kick your water back on or bring the water level back up and all of the, the leftovers will float to the top and you can start cleaning them. This is the first of two parts for this video. I'm doing this part in the spring and I'll do another one in the fall after I've had time for them to grow out in the summer and then to harvest in the fall. This plant is pretty amazing besides the benefits of it cleaning your pond really well. It also puts off a really beautiful flower uh, that attracts bees 
I've even seen hummingbirds try eating off of these flowers. Uh, but you're gonna have lots of bees coming to the flowers. And then when they dry out, like this one's down here, you can just basically rub your hand across them and seeds will come off into your hand. And those ha seeds can be eaten raw or roasted and eaten that way. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the second part of this in the fall.